Okay. I've never really understood why people get up at the crack of dawn to go running. Because my leg muscles really haven't kicked in yet. But today, I've gone for a run. It's a Sunday morning, early. I am running to the Essex Way or the Essex Path. I found it by accident. But to get there, I have to run along this busy road for about half a mile. It's fresh this morning. It's not freezing, but it's not far off it. But the sun's out. I woke up this morning and I saw the sun was shining. It hasn't rained in a few days. So I thought, what the hell? Let's, let's go for a long run, longish run. My muscles haven't warmed up yet, so, and my toes are frozen. So, anyway, this is where I turn off. Little red sport car, little red sport car. You're just a sad memory. There's a really muddy footpath up here. Trout. And that's what I'm aiming for. I'll tell the story about how I found this place in a sec. I need to warm up first. Okay. I've stopped for a second just to get my breath so I can talk on camera. Really sunny morning. So this is the path I've run up. And this is the muddy footpath that I found yesterday. I only found it by accident. So the normal route I take is probably about three, four miles that way. I run up the high street and I turn right. It doesn't mean anything, it's where I live now. And uh, the only reason I'm saying that is because in that direction, there's a, a country road that I run along and then I turn right down a private road. I know I'm not supposed to run down a private road, but it's only for about 200 yards and then it hits a footpath. And I don't know how to find the footpath. I haven't found it yet. We only moved to the area three months ago. So I'm just still discovering where these routes are. That trail that I was trying to hit over there, the private road someone was working on. So I thought I better not push my luck. It's bad enough that I run along it. Um, for the last couple of months, I've run along it to get to the footpath off of the main busy country road. I carried on for another two miles. There was no turn offs cars whizzing past me and I saw that there was a track a single lane track so I ran along it looked like um, a bridleway looked like where horses you could see the imprint of horses so I ran along the bridleway on this single lane track to the end of it and it just stopped smack bang in the middle of a huge farmer's field not this one over there somewhere So I've come for a, a mid-range run today. This is my, what day is it? It's my Friday run, eight to 10 miles. And uh, I've decided I'm gonna uh, leave it a while. So I'm doing my 5K sub 30 minute 5K challenge at the moment. I'm working up towards it. And I've decided to hold off trying to set any times. I'm just gonna keep practicing. Um, my aerobic running, yeah, intermixed with some speed running, but nothing major, and just keep it, keep my heart rate down, which will give me the best chance of losing weight and you know increasing my cardio, etc. Which puts me in a good place to be able to put um, my 5k under 30 minutes. But the ground with all of these fields is just super muddy so i'm slipping everywhere it makes it impossible to gather any kind of speed consistent pace i've decided to hold off until spring stroke summer and then go for it but that gives me plenty of time several weeks a couple of months to really really 
get my uh, endurance under control. I, um, I ran up the high street further back and I saw, because there's a loop that I do that brings me back up the country road, up the high street, up the country road, back onto the farmer's field behind my house. And I saw there's a footpath that came off the road early. So I took it and now I'm lost. I'm just gonna keep adventuring around this area to find the best routes. I think these, these footpaths will be all right in the, in the summer. It's just they're uh, not great for running on in the winter. I don't think this is it. I'm on this rickety old bridge. I thought this was the footpath, but it's not where people have forged out fake footpaths. They lead you onto someone's land where you're not supposed to be. But there was a sign about 500 yards back that said this was a footpath. And there was another sign that said stick to footpath. So it's definitely a footpath. We're about five miles in now. There's a massive hay bale. Oh, a stack of them anyway. That would be one hell of a fault. It's running me to some woodland up here. Okay, the wind's picking up now. I'm well lost. Um, so, I've got in there, which has remnants of people walking in, but it looks like something out of deliverance. Very fancy that. Or I've got around the edge. So I'm just going to go around the edge. Looks like someone's made a shooting range. Oh, nothing queer as folk. My feet are caked in mud. I'm just going to walk this bit because I'm not on a footpath. This is just thick mud here. I do think that is the footpath in there. Oh, I don't know if you can see that. I look like, what are they? Some kind of animal over there. It looks like a cockerel from here. Oh, they're not. They're deer. Look. I really need to invest in a running watch that I'm able to upload footpath tracking to. Oh, we're over. We're over on another field now. I don't know. It's okay because I know this is a footpath. I'm not breaking any rules now. I can forget about that bit. And I got to the other side and it was a ditch that I jumped down and up and the other side and I found this, this path I'm on now. So I followed it and this eventually leads to the Essex path, which is where we're going today. Now, I should say that the Essex path, when I Googled it, I actually discovered it. I've been looking for it now for a few, few days. And it was only by chance that I found it because I found this trout. And the good thing is when you follow it back the other way, it goes to within a couple of miles of my house. The good thing about it is like a lot of parts that run through this country, it's an ancient footway. It's an ancient road that dates, it's very old, it's ancient. And uh, I'm not gonna make numbers up because when I Googled it, I didn't retain that, but it runs 82 miles from Hainault into Essex.
So this is it. The Essex Way, not that way. That direction and this direction. Replaces the Thames path for me, this does. This is my new go-to now. This isn't a tips video. But if you ever wanted a tip to get into running, the first thing you should do before you buy trainers, well, maybe not before trainers, but one of the first things you should do is find yourself a route. Find somewhere you enjoy. Try and get it off of busy roads if you can, but just find somewhere you enjoy. Because it makes it so much easier to get up and get out motivates you and if possible try and make it picturesque because it helps with the head candy That's the Essex path, or the Essex way over there. And uh, this is four miles, four miles from where I live. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna head back, because I think eight miles today is enough for me. I'm gonna spend some time with the family today. I haven't really seen them much this week. Been busy with work, and so I'm gonna make them breakfast. Head back now. Such a lovely day, such a pretty day.